Welcome to a journey into yoga. I'm Susan Rubenstein. Welcome to the program. So today's yoga is going to be about yoga for runners. This begins a three part series that I will be doing over the course of the summer. We'll start with yoga for runners. Then next time we come together, next month we'll start yoga for golfers. And then to finish off the summer, we'll finish with yoga for cyclists. So hopefully with those three programs over the course of the next three months, you'll have an opportunity to explore yoga and how it can benefit you in whatever physical activity you're doing. I chose running as my first topic of discussion. Now feel free, you don't have to be a runner to do this particular yoga program. Actually, I welcome everybody. But as a runner myself, I know the importance of training. Whether it's couch to 5K or moving into your first 10K experience, training for that exciting half, or doing your first or 20th marathon, we need to take the time to stretch. And that has been the most wonderful part of my personal training is that adapting yoga to my life, whether it's the breathing or the poses or just getting me to pay attention to my surroundings, I believe has helped me become a better runner. So with that being said, all you really need for today's program is something comfortable that you would wear to stretch to move in. Shoes are not required, but sometimes for balance, people do prefer to keep their shoes on. I have a yoga mat with me, so an exercise mat is fine. I've also brought along one of these stretchy bands. Now you can also use what we call is a yoga strap. Sometimes you can just use a robe tie or maybe a tie. What this does is it helps to get into some of those spots that are really tight, and we're gonna talk about that in a moment. But you don't really need too much for this. What you do need, though, is just some time. So whether you can stay with me through the whole program or kind of watch and pick a few things that are gonna work for you, try to incorporate this at the end of your running. Whether you're going out to just have a quick run or you're taking a long weekend run or doing one of these fantastic races that are all over the community, all over the state this summer, this is a great way to stay healthy. So let's start. First and foremost is breathing. We hear a conversation about being mindful all the time. What is mindfulness? Being present, being in the moment. And that's what I love about things that take me outside. It gets me to be outside to celebrate the beauty of the season. It makes me feel good, gets my lungs open, and really helps me to feel good from the inside out. In order to really stay present with your surroundings, we need to think about the breath. So for those of you that are runners or anybody else who wants to join along, let's think about how we breathe. So many times when something becomes strenuous, we start to move into shallow breathing, a stress response. This could be stress at work, stress at home, you've had an argument with someone, you're heated about a topic, or exercise-induced stress. Our breath becomes shallow. It's important, though, at times to check in and to really focus on deep abdominal breathing. And you can do that while you're in the middle of your run or your training or whatever's going on as far as your exercise routine. So here's a couple of ideas. Start with your hands onto your belly. Your diaphragm, this bell-shaped curve sitting comfortably right underneath those ribs, really helps as you inhale to massage the organs, to draw oxygen into the body. So with that being said, let's take a deep breath in. Fill the belly. The belly should move out, yes, out, when you breathe in. So we're breathing in, we're expanding the belly like a balloon, as you see with my hands. Then when we exhale, we're letting the belly recede. So try that. Take a deep breath in, feel the belly push out, moving into your hands. And then as you exhale, draw the belly in. Good. Let's do that a couple more times, taking a deep breath in. And then exhaling. And again, inhale. And exhale. So you might notice just within those couple breathing exercises, you feel a little more calm and centered. And that's the great part of breathing. You don't have to worry about all the different modalities of different styles of yoga breathing. The basic one is the belly breath. 
That's what we need to focus on. So I want you to think about that today. If you start to feel yourself breathing a little shallow, meaning up just in the chest, and there's not much movement in the belly, pause, put your hands onto your belly, and then allow that experience to happen. So let's start with actually standing. So one thing that we do as runners, we're upright, we're moving forward, right? It's that forward and back motion, but our arms are pumping, right? We're getting all that energy moving. So we need to loosen up the shoulders. So with our breathing, let's start. Inhale, arms up. Take a nice big stretch and then breathe out. So it's really good to put yoga into your life every day. Just a few minutes of movement, of stretching can help you feel so good. My recommendation is to put this, if you're going out for a run, at the end of your run. Give yourself five, 10 minutes to cool down to pause, start as your heart rate is coming down, as your breathing turns back, returns back to normal with some standing stretches. And then eventually we'll take it onto the floor. So how are we breathing with this? We're inhaling, we're extending the arms up, and then we're bringing the arms down. Now one thing that can sometimes get tight when we're running are our shoulders. So let's open. And then as we exhale, we're going to vine the arms. We're going to wrap the arms around each other. Good. So we drop the shoulders, reach out through those forearms, stretch those back muscles, stretch the shoulders, and feel ourselves just connect. And then open up. Inhale. Take a full breath. Extend those arms out. Exhale. Let's wrap the arms around and do the other side. Drop the shoulders down and breathe. Breathe into what's available to you. What space do you have? It's also important that breathing teaches us to be present when times are of discomfort, which sometimes we feel. We're pushing our bodies. We're doing our drills. We're running that hill. Whatever it is, we need to remind ourselves to connect, to breathe during times of difficulty of strain to relax the tension and then open up and release. Good. Now let's take a deep breath in, move laterally. Now this I like to do with some fluid movement, just to stretch through the side body, the intercostals, the layer of muscle that sits in our ribs. So these exercises are really user friendly, but if you're new to any exercise program, sometimes it's just a good idea to run by your doctor an exercise that you're starting. So you would tell your doctor you're gonna start yoga and see what he says, if it's a good idea. But if you're already very active and moving, this should be fine for you. Let's float those shoulders back, good. Nice deep breath. Now, I'm gonna have you walk your feet out, so a little bit wider than hip width. You're gonna raise your arms up, deep breath. Now when we come down, it's like we're coming down into a squat. Exhale, put your hands right onto your thighs. Now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to scoop the belly in, still breathing though. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And exhale, release the arms down. Let's try that again. Deep breath in. Exhale, drop those arms down. Chest is lifted. We peek out, drop into our seat. And then inhale, curve gently through the spine, anchor through the floor, come up. And exhale. So can you see yourself doing this? especially outside on a beautiful day. Exhale, come down, hands to thighs. Inhale, round all the way up. Exhale, let's do that one more time. Big stretch, all the way up. Exhale, drop the hands to the thighs. Inhale, round into the spine, curving, lifting, opening heart space. Exhale, take the hands in. Good. So now, one thing that we notice that gets tight through the lower back, our buttocks, our hamstrings. So let's just start to slowly move the legs up and down. This also gets us to work our balance because even with that quick second when our foot leaves the floor, automatically we need to engage what we call the core. We're bringing the energy of the abdominals and the back together. The core does include hips, thighs, and buttocks. But for today's show, we're going to focus on really bringing that navel into the spine and lens support. Good. 
Now, take a deep breath in, scoop your hand to your thigh, balance, circle the ankle around. You've got to love those feet, right? And then go the other way. So balance builds a feeling of being grounded, but it builds tone. So you don't have to necessarily hit the mat and do a bunch of crunches. Right now, we're working our abdominals just as hard by keeping them pulled in, having good posture with our shoulders over our hips. And then slide the foot down, roll those shoulders back so you're balanced ears, shoulders, shoulders, hips, hips, knees, and knees with ankles. Take the arms out, and let's take the other side up. Good. Steady your gaze, so it's always a good idea to focus on something that's not moving. Circle. And then going in the opposite direction. Good. And then step down and release. All right. So let's do another standing exercise. This one also incorporates a little bit of balance. So I'm going to have you shift your weight over to the left side. Bend your right knee. Don't be afraid to hold on to a wall or something for support. If you're outside, you can always do this by a tree. You want to reach back for your foot, bringing your knee underneath your hip, pressing the foot into the hand. We're just gently pressing the thigh back. I love this because it stretches through the hip flexor and it stretches through our quadricep, our thigh. And our knee feels really good. So how long would we stay here? Well, as long as we can, or three to five slow breaths. Good, let's release this down. Shake out those toes, root down into the earth, belly drawn in, and now let's take the other side. So shift over, bring your heel into your seat, press the foot back into the hand, Maybe extend the arm out or bring your fingers onto something for support. Sometimes it just feels good to stretch for no reason at all. We just wake up, we need to just move a little bit. At the end of a long day, we just want to stretch out our body. Because sometimes we just feel compressed. Everything gets short and tight. If you notice, sometimes you stretch out and then all of a sudden you feel a little taller. And then let's release that down. Good. All right. So the next one we're going to do, and I'm going to show you with the stretchy band that I brought. You know, you, if you have the ability to come down and reach for your foot, that's great. Standing on one leg, soft knee, extend the other leg forward so you're on your heel. Now, shoulders are back, hinging from the hip. Our spine is long. We're going to reach down, place this band underneath our foot. And then now we're just going to pull up a little bit to get a nice stretch going on from the heel, from the calf, up into the hamstring. All right? So this could be one option, right? Shoulders back, we're tall. Another option is if you have the flexibility, keep your toes lifted, reach down, and go a little bit deeper. You're going to feel that. Make sure it's advisable to keep your head below your heart. We're going to do this again on our backs, but this is a nice one to do if you've just got a few moments and you want to do some standing stretches. And then let's do the other side. So again, take the strap or the stretchy band. These stretchy bands are great because they have a little give to them. So if you're the back of your leg, your hamstrings, all that are really tight, this is helpful. We can stay right here completely upright and vertical and still get a good stretch with our heel out. Or we can start to work our way down, elbows reach back. Or if that's going well and we want to take it all the way down, we come to here. Take another deep breath in. And then exhale, start to lift your head and gently come back up. Good. All right, let's shake the legs out, all right? Give them a gentle shake, good. Now, let's remove that strap. So we've done some really great stretches. One other thing that's nice to do is, oh, stretch through the side of the neck. Because you think about that, 
that motion of running, right? Sometimes we drop our head, whether it's to see what's in front of us or we start to get tired, we get a little winded, you need to remind yourself to bring your head back. But important thing too is also to take the time to stretch out from ear to shoulder. And then do that on the other side. So you see, this is pretty simple. It's friendly yoga. It's yoga that you can do and really feel like you're getting something out of it. And then come back to center, good. All right, so now I'm gonna have you come down, right? We need to think about how we're gonna take care of our spine. So I'm gonna turn, come down to all fours, slide my hands underneath my shoulders so I'm in a five-pointed star. From here, I'm gonna take a deep breath in, round the back, and then exhale, open the chest. Oh, this feels so good. Now, if you want a little more height, inhale, come to your fingertips, pull the belly muscles in. Exhale, open out through your chest, collarbones broaden. Do that again, inhale, pull the navel up towards your spine, feel that connection. Exhale, we open. Again. Good, now releasing the hands. Let's start alternating sides. So we inhale, reach up, getting rotation. Exhale, lower down. Inhale to the other side. Exhale, lower down. Again, deep breath in. Exhaling. One more time, take a deep breath in. Exhaling. Now, I'm gonna turn out towards you. So I love this one. We're just gonna stack ourselves up on our knee, take a nice big stretch, and then reach overhead. So we're lengthening. So this beautiful lengthening through our side gives us a good stretch. Now what if I wanted to add rotation? I come up and I'm scooping under the ribs and I'm looking down. Oh, that feels good, opening those back muscles, getting a little twist in, and then come back up through center. Now, an alternative too to that standing quadricep stretch, lift this leg, reach back for your foot. So again, we're visiting balance. And as we press the foot into the hand, we're rolling the ribs open and breathe deep into our chest. Slide the leg out. Good, and release. Let's take it back to that cat and dog stretch. Up onto our fingers and potted palm. We inhale, and then exhale. Inhale again. Exhaling. One more time, full breath. As we exhale, flatten out through the back. Now, reach up. Lower down. Reach up again. Lower down. Now, setting your hand, I'm gonna turn away from you this time so you see what it looks like from the back or you turn away from me. We're gonna reach up, slide the knee in, and then slide the other leg out and do the same thing. Good. So now, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, slide the leg back, stack the hips, reach up. So now, you might have your back to me Let's stretch overhead, get that nice side bend. Come back up through center. Scoop all the way underneath, looking down. Take another deep breath in, finding balance. Lift your leg up, bend, reach back for your foot and get a nice stretch here. Set the foot down and then release. So let's take it around. Swing the legs out in front of you. Good, now we're gonna take it down onto our back. So remember I had mentioned that we would be going back into our hamstring stretch. So let's lie down with or without a strap, bending through the knee. We take the strap to the bottom of the foot. And as we do this, we press the heel up, shoulders draw down. We can keep completely still, or maybe it just feels good to gently glide the foot front and back, forward and back, opening up. 
We don't need to go fast with this, just a little deeper into the stretch. Oh, this should feel really, really good. I know I love this stretch as well on my back because I get more of a stretch also through my lower back. So my spine is settling into the earth and it just feels so good. All right, so please feel free to spend more time on that side. And then we take it to the other side. Oh yes, that should feel great. Just imagine yourself lying in grass with the sunlight on your face, the birds chirping, wherever you are, or even in your own home. Terrific. Now, what about those hips? One area that we all need to think about stretching. So let's focus now on bringing your right knee in, left knee's bent. Put your right ankle onto your left thigh, turn that knee out, good. So now our feet are flexed. We can stay here and press against that right inner thigh, kind of pushing it away from the hip, or we can lift the foot off the floor, and this is another one I love. Reach your hands behind the thigh. Now, if you have difficulty keeping your hands behind your thigh, or your head down, you might want to put a pillow underneath your head and a great alternative with one of these bands or a strap is just slide it behind the thigh and then gently just pull. So notice how your thigh of your leg that's bent, your left thigh is kind of coming in and your right knee is opening out to the side. So this being a terrific hip stretch, this is one that I do a couple times a day. So if you think about not only the hips, it gets right down into the piriformis. It's also a good stretch for your knee. All right, let's take that. Hug the knees in, and let's meet the other side. Crossing it over, turning the knee out, bellies in. So we wanna feel supported yet centered. And then we can stay right here while we lift the foot and breathe. That should feel really good especially on those hips. This is where you can really connect with your breathing. Just listening for the sound of your breath. Good, all right. Now, place your feet onto the floor. This one I love, and sometimes we need to just kind of loosen up to get into it. So I'm gonna show you bridge pose, but in yoga, I'll start this with our fluid bridge, and then we'll come into a more support and lifted bridge. So we're gonna reach the arms up, either up to the ceiling or overhead if the shoulders feel good. Now we're gonna tilt the pelvis. Imagine that you have a tail, you're tucking it towards your navel. We lift the hips up, we exhale arms down. Thighs are reaching to knees, seat is firm, lower back stretches. Then let's come up, or down rather, arms over. Exhale, come back up. So even in just these first few bridges, I starting now to feel a great stretch from my hips to my knees and all of that space in my ribs, my back. All right, so now let's take a deep breath. We're creating that pelvic tilt. Now we're lifting the spine, but we don't come any higher than the top vertebra. Arms come down. If you feel like your feet are too far to, uh, apart, walk them closer or walk them up. As you lift your hips, slide your shoulders down. Maybe walk your hands underneath you and get more of a stretch through your ribs, through your chest. Oh, so this should feel really good. Bridge pose is one of those great stretches that does so much for the body. So remember, you can always stay here longer than what we're doing today. This is just some great information on how to care for your body. Let's slide those hips down, good. Now, take your knees, drop them over to one side. Ah, oh, a gentle spinal twist. If you want to go a little bit further, we can always bring the knee up, or I love this one, reaching for the foot, 
start to feel that stretch in the IT band from the hip to the outside of the knee. And again, this is where that strap might come in handy. So twists are also great for neutralizing the spine and the nervous system. Let's take that in, hug the knees in, drop them to the other side. So again, as you're dropping the knees over, that might be just enough or invite the leg to come in or extend it out or here or here. Just really focus now on that wonderful stretch. Arm stays down, body's relaxed. All right, so we're gonna start to slowly come out of this. And as I gently roll to my side, I'm gonna come up to seated. Oh, that felt so good. So we kind of at the end of our stretch, it's nice just to come up, maybe drop into a forward fold, get that final stretch for your hips. And just return to your breathing. Just let your body and your mind connect to your breath. So let's return now to our breathing once again as we finish. We're just going to place the hands onto the belly. Gently feel how that belly expands when we inhale. And then exhale how the belly recedes. And at the same time, we feel that sense of calm. So with that, we're just going to rest our hands against our knees. We can sit quietly. We can review some of those wonderful yoga poses that we share today. But just remember, be patient with your body, especially if you are a runner or if you're beginning any type of running program. Be patient and kind to your body. Make sure you nourish it with plenty of water. Try to eat as clean and as healthy as possible, but also take the time to stretch and to breathe your body will respond in wonderful ways. So I thank you for this time. I'll see you next time and have a wonderful day. Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.